am about to throw a party in your plants. What? I said plants. I'm talking about the yerba mate plant, which is native to subtropical regions of South America and looks like this. And since these days you can basically make alcohol out of anything, I'm gonna introduce you to Hard Yerba Mate, which is a hard tea seltzer. I'm checking out the Kobe Tasting Room at the Acre of Awesome in Barrio Logan. Do people normally come to the bar and order yerba mate from their bartender? Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> this is definitely a new thing. So, yeah, it's, it's found its own voice. Yeah. Okay, Ryder, you're one of the co-founders of the hard yerba mate, Kove. For people who don't know, what is yerba mate? Yerba mate is actually a holly berry, but it's considered like a tea, like green tea, matcha, all those things. So it's a tea-like seltzer. Why did you guys decide to make it alcoholic? I mean, for obvious reasons. Yeah, exactly. For us, we saw a gap in the alcohol industry in the sense of, following different trends, you know, following that uh, beer, going to craft beer. Um, the seltzer, now there's kind of this gap in the category. And so now we figured, let's try that as a base ingredient and it ended up being incredible. It's a part of everyday life in South America. You'll have policemen drinking it, teachers, everybody, you know, it's, it's always in their hand. And the cool part about it is it's actually such a symbol of community. You normally get the gourd, fill it, make it hot, and then you actually pass it around in one group, you know, and share that same gourd. So, oh, so that's kind of what you're recreating here. We're all sharing in the hard We're trying, yeah. yeah. I love it. Can we go inside and see see how the tea is made, the yerba? Yeah, most definitely. Okay, well, yep. Let me drink some of these first because these are very delicious. There we go. And... Don't poke your eye out. I didn't. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm just going to hold this. If you see here, we actually contract brew out of Thorn Brewing. Uh -huh. This is the actual base product. So this is the yerba mate tea. Kind of mix in there. It's good, right? I'll actually let you pour it. I'd oh. like to try it out. Okay. Oh yeah, this is your big moment. This is actually what we're allowed to do, which is really cool and leads a lot of room for more collaborations and flavors, is we actually have one big base product. And from that big base product, then we add our organic juices, herbs, and spices to make our different flavors of yerba mate. Okay. Give it that bartender's tilt, you know, just like so. And boom. <laughs> oh, don't you worry. <laughs> don't waste it, don't waste it. That's good, even like base flavor, that's really yeah, good. Yeah, it's definitely drinkable by itself. You wanna try it? I'm sorry. Oh, that's your okay. I, I, luckily, I know where to get plenty here. <laughs> that one's good. 